Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So what I have here is it says a nuclear disaster alert as Russian radiation 1,000 times above normal strikes Europe. It says a major nuclear accident in Russia may have caused a radioactive cloud to engulf large swaths of northern Europe. It has emerged. Now if you guys remember the couple videos I did um, on this already um, probably about a couple weeks ago to a month ago I've done a couple videos where there was ruthenium 106 detected all over Europe and various other areas and they were telling us that um, one they didn't really know where it was coming from at the time but they suspected that it was possibly coming from Russia and two they also said that it had no health risk of, or health you know health effect risk um, for any um, life um, that may come in contact with it due to the fact that there was not much of it detected in the atmosphere but this goes on to say alarmingly high radiation levels almost 1,000 times above normal levels have been detected in the Ural Mountains according to Russia Meteorological Service it says a radioactive cloud over Europe suggested an accident had happened at a nuclear plant in either Russia or I'm not going to try to pronounce it I'm sorry at the end of September it says now data from Russia Weather Service. Um, I said Russia Russia Dramat Russia Dramat. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Has confirmed that the extremely high pollution was recorded in late September and early October. So this is now just coming out. Um, it says scientists found a high concentrate high concentration of radioactive isotope called ruthenium 106 in Argeish, a village and in the region in the southern Urals. You know, some of these words I'm, or towns or cities, I'm just not going to try to pronounce, so I do apologize ahead of time. Um, but it also goes on to say Argeish, where the population levels were 986 times the norm, is located about 20 miles from a huge nuclear reprocessing plant known as Mayoc. Now it says in 1957 the plant suffered one of the worst nuclear disasters in history sparking the evacuation of 100,000 people. It says today Mayoc produces parts for nuclear weapons and processes um, spent nuclear fuel and it also says their radioactivity levels were 440 times higher at the nearby uh, Novogorny station. Now it says Russian drama did not suggest that the Mayoc plant was the source of a radioactive material. So they're not coming out and saying that this has to be where this radiation is coming from but if you kind of put two and two together it kind of seems that it, it's very very possible that something happened at this Mayoc plant um, let's see now because you can see right here on the map this is the Mayoc you know uh, at the plant there the nuclear plant there um, Let's go on to see if it says anything else. Oh, it also says that in a statement on Monday, um, let's see, Ruz, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, sorry, said that the nuclear matter could eventually reach all European countries starting in Italy and towards the north of Europe. Um, environmental charity Greenpeace has called on Russia to launch an in-depth inquiry into the incidents at the Mayoc plant. It says Greenpeace will send a letter asking prosecutors to open an inquiry into potential concealment of a nuclear incident, the charity said in a statement. The charity claims that tens of millions of people were impacted by a radioactive cloud, many of whom will have no doubt of health problems. Now see, this whole story is switching now. Because if you remember the two articles uh, that I shared with you guys, um, like I said a couple weeks ago and probably about a month ago when they first started detecting it, they were saying then that, that, that it posed no health threats. And now that switch has been flipped, um, unfortunately. But it says Russia has denied any of its nuclear plants suffered any incidents. Um, France's IRSN, a nuclear monitor, has played down reports of accident and nuclear reactor. Um, instead, the watchdog believes that the material is more likely to have been released from a nuclear fuel treatment site or center for radioactive medicine. I mean, regardless of where this comes from, you know, I, I hope that they they do find the source of this and can. It goes on to say that. Um, 
The director for health at the IRSN said Russia is responsible for identifying the source of the nuclear cloud. He added that the matter is closed as far as France is concerned. It's not a problem for France. He says what is not satisfactory is that Rupium 106 has been detected across Europe and that poses a question. We have come up with a plausible zone of where it could come from. We can't do any more. It says Russia is a vast country and we are we're not aware of all the installations on this territory. The ball is now in the other camp. But let's just be honest. If this did happen in Russia, do you really think they're ever going to truly admit to it um, and you know and identify for you where this actually happened? This, um, this you know nuclear incident is what we'll call it. Um, but there's no denying that Ruthie 106 has been detected all over Europe and France and other areas um, so it's it's um, you know that's it's a scary thought you know I mean I live here in the US but at the same time they've been telling people yo even though we've been detecting ruthenium 106 in, in the atmosphere don't worry about it it's not high enough levels to affect your health but now that like the flip has been switched like I said it's it's almost and now I'm actually worried for the, for everyone over there because no one wants to admit where this comes from. There's certain areas that are almost a thousand times higher in pollution levels due to this radioactive w w cloud or whatever you want to call it, um, Ruthium 106. And uh, you know, more and more information is starting to come out. Um, you know, but we still don't know truly where it comes from. You know, and if it is in uh, Russia's corner, if you will, now they'll never admit to it, regardless of if if something did happen in their country or not. But I did want to share this with you guys because you know, obviously, it's a it's a pretty interesting story and uh, just an update on the European radiation that I had reported on a couple times before. But if this is all true, um, that's coming out now. It, you know, it's a scary thought as to what could possibly happen to a large amount of people who thought their health was not at risk, and now it may be at risk. So, but uh, other than that, that's going to do it for this video. If there's any more updates, which I'm sure there probably will be at some point, I'll definitely get that out to you guys. And thanks for supporting the channel and watching these videos. You know, we're growing every day, and that's because of you. You know, I, I can't appreciate you guys enough. But other than that, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hope you have a great day. Peace.